and the name is yeah, linear lambda calculus is linear. Okay, well, the title is uh, kind of a tautology, but uh, I will <laughs> try to explain what uh, we mean by this. Oh, sorry. So the idea is that uh, when, when we have a linear logic, we know that there is a connection with linear algebra somehow. Uh, normally, it is expressed by the models. Okay, in the models, you have uh, uh, linear maps. Uh, but <coughs> what uh, we observe is that the lambda calculus is a language of functions, so we, we will say that the linear lambda calculus is, uh, has to be the, the language of linear functions. And uh, what does it mean? I don't know. What, what does it mean a function to be linear in the algebraic sense? It means, this is a pointer? No, it's not. Okay, in the algebraic sense, what we mean by a linear function or a linear map is that you, these two equations are true. But these two equations are not easily, easily expressible in lambda terms, okay? You don't have a sum, you don't have a product. So uh, that is our, uh, our motivation to say, to extend uh, the linear lambda calculus so we can express this, this kind of, uh, of, uh, of equations. So the first thing is we will add to intuitionistic linear logic these two uh, rules, in interstitial rules, so they, they are rules that uh, they don't change the sequence that you have, okay? If, if you can deduce A from gamma, then you can deduce A, a from gamma. One is called sum, the other is called product. And then, uh, of course, that if we add this to the logic, then you will have some problem with the cut elimination because you can have one of these rules in the middle of a cut, okay? Like uh, here, you have the the introduction of the conjunction and the elimination of the conjunction, and in the middle you have this uh, prod, so you don't have a cut uh, there. So of course you have to commute either with the introduction or with the elimination. You can either commute the prod with the conjunction or with the elimination, and then you recover the, the cut that you need, okay? So we just have these two rules that uh, seem uh, uh, not, uh, not very bad, but of course, once you have these two rules, you have to add the, all these commutation, these uh, commuting rules. We choose, in general, to do the commute with the introduction because that gives us uh, much better uh, introduce, uh, values uh, at the end. But uh, in some cases, you have to uh, commute with the elimination, like in the disjunction. Uh, so we we leave the, the commutation with elimination only for the cases where you cannot commute with the introduction. So, all in all, what we took is the uh, intuitionistic linear logic. So in the intuitionistic linear logic, these are the connectives. You don't have a multiplicative uh, falsehood. You don't have an additive uh, implication. You don't have a disjunction, a multiplicative disjunction, okay? But you have two true, and you have two conjunctions. Okay, we took the ones that are in red, okay, just because this is what uh, makes the thing work. Okay, so we only took uh, the multiplicative uh, truth, the additive falsehood, the multiplicative implication, because that is the only one, the uh, additive conjunction and the additive disjunction. Uh, in this work, we use the standard, uh, um, the, the standard uh, symbols because we already have a zero and one with the scalars, and so it will be messy. So we just use the classical symbols, uh, since we have only one of each of, of each connective. So what we do is we take uh, all these, these connectives, we add these these terms uh, for the for the sum rule that I I showed you before, and this for the uh, product, and we also uh, put the the truth value, we, uh, we, that is a multiplicative truth, we uh, put uh, one term for each uh, scalar that you have in some, uh, some structure of uh, scalars, okay? So the top, instead of having only a star as a, as a proof, you have A times star, okay? Uh, and then this is kind of a standard, this is, uh, all the deltas are the eliminations, Okay, so you have the elimination of the top, elimination of, of, of bottom, the true and false, 
the elimination of the true elimination of the consumption and the elimination of the disjunction. So the deduction rules, the, the the novel thing or the special things are these four, which is this that I told you about the, the top. Then the elimination of the top is standard, okay? But uh, I write it here because then we will understand better the the reduction rule. The sum is this rule that uh, adds this new term, sum, and the product is this rule that I there is one for each uh, scalar, okay, that adds the product. Then in the reduction rules, you will have this uh, el delimination of the truth now that uh, normally it will be uh, star uh, followed by t and then you get t. Here it is a times a star followed by t and then you, f you continue with a times t, okay? The sum of two stars is, uh, goes to the sum in, the, in this structure, okay? Uh, and then uh, you have all the commuting, uh, as I said, with the introduction as much as we can. So, for example, with the lambdas, you commute uh, in this way. Okay, you you enter the sum uh, uh, inside. Of course, in the in the um, introduction of the disjunction, you cannot commute and the, at the, uh, 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 with the introduction because you could have in L plus in R, and then you, 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 you don't have a way to commute, then there you have to commute with elimination. But all the rest, the, the commutations are with introductions like this. So once we have this, this calculus, where we, as, as I told you, we just, just between uh, a lot of uh, quote marks, uh, added these two, these two terms, or these two rules, and the, the scalars, we can uh, start uh, studying what we can do with this. So first, uh, let's define the, uh, a set V for vectors. And the set V is just top is in the set. And then uh, if you have two, two types in the set, the conjunction is in the set, OK? So this is uh, top to the end, if you want, are, the, are this uh, thing. And then you can uh, define the dimension of a type in V as the number of top that you have in the type. Um, with this, we have a one-to-one -one correspondence between a type in this V and the vector space S to the N, OK? And the correspondence is uh, it just say that if you have a, a term, an irreductible ty term of type A, then there is a unique vector uh, in S to the N, and if you have a vector in S to the N, then there is a unique, unique irreducible proof of this vector in this type, and here we have to put the type because the bracketing uh, could, uh, uh, gives you different uh, terms, but uh, both are, are similar. For example, this vector ABC, you can encode it in this way in the calculus, okay? This is A, this is the pair of A, uh, times a star, B times a star, and then C times a star. And so you have the correspondence between this type, which is in the set B, and S, S to the three, okay, the, the vector space. There are some properties that this sum that we defined in this way, in fact, is the, the vector sum, okay? So it's the sum of vectors. Uh, and the uh, scalar multiplication is actually the scalar multiplication of the vector space. Okay, so this is uh, the underline means the vector in the vector space. Okay, so you have a direct relation there, and uh, we have this uh, theorem also that says that if we have two uh, types in V, with the dimension of A being M and the dimension of B being N, and then you take a matrix in, uh, in of M to uh, N times N. Then there exists a unique term, uh, irreducible term, uh, from A to B, such that for all vectors in SM, when you apply this to the translation of this vector, what you get is what you will obtain from applying the matrix to the vector, okay? So the, the correspondence is up to there. So this is just an example that uh, I will not explain because it's quite uh, messy, but uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, this, this uh, matrix, you can encode it in this way. Here you have the A, B, and the C, D, okay? Um, and so you can encode all the matrices uh, there, and this, this, uh, this 
goes with the correspondence. But also, the, the main theorem is the, the correspondence in the other sense. So that if you take A to be any proposition and B to be in V, then a term uh, uh, with the type A implies B, uh, you have these equivalences. Okay? If you take two terms in A and then you apply to the sum, this is equivalent. Equivalent means both terms reduces to the same value. Uh, equivalent to TU and TV. And uh, the same with the product. Uh, and here uh, we put A, any proposition, and B to be, uh, to be uh, uh, in this vector space, but in fact we could uh, generalize this to an arbitrary B such that what you will have is uh, something like this. So this, for example, uh, this is an example where one reduces to this term and the other reduces to this term that morally that does, does the same, but then you have to put a context. So they are contextually equivalent. And uh, as a corollary uh, is that if you have uh, A and B of these vector types uh, and uh, a term from type A to B, then uh, the map that goes from S M to Sn, which is defined as the translation of this T applied to U, is linear. Okay? So this is the linearity that, uh, that uh, we, we have. That Any term of type A to B uh, with uh, vector types is a linear, a linear map. So summarizing, we presented this uh, LS logic as an extension of a fragment of intuitionistic linear logic because we don't have all the connectives. Uh, and the extension because we added these two interstitial uh, rules and the commuting rules to recover cut elimination. Uh, we show that the proof language can express matrices. Uh, and moreover, we have shown that uh, every term of this type is linear in the algebraic sense. And also in the paper, but I don't have time for it, uh, we use this for quantum computing. Uh, in quantum computing, all the operators are, are matrices. And then with this, we can encode quantum computing. And we have another connective that uh, we, uh, we uh, presented already in another paper, in ICTAC uh, last year, where uh, you can uh, encode uh, measurements in quantum computing. But that is just uh, to send you to read the paper, because I don't have time for that. OK, that's all. I mean the theorem. Uh, are yes. you supposing that the term T is normal or? The term uh, T here, no, yeah. it doesn't, uh, doesn't need to be normal. Ah, okay. yeah. And a second question, is your system confluent or not? Yes, we oh. prove the confluence. Yeah. Interesting. So can you imagine uh, the notational semantics for, uh, for this calculus? Yes, I, I have a work with uh, another co-author, uh, which is Octavio Malerbe. And uh, we just uh, uh, send to archive <laughs> and uh, to a journal uh, categorical model for this uh, calculus. Uh, but uh, it's another paper. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, there, there is a model that, in fact, uh, we have to construct uh, a model of uh, semi modules uh, over semi rings. So, this S that uh, we put here, we need at least to be a semi model a semi over a semi ring. And uh, okay, that is another work. Thanks. Um, you view types as vector spaces, essentially, I, I think? Uh, kind of. I, I mean, uh, the types in this set V okay, are in one-to-one -one correspondence with vector spaces. Yeah? Or if you want, with semi-models, because you don't need uh, that much uh, structure. Right, okay, and then I was wondering, because you have like the tensor product and the ampersand and the plus, and I was uh, wondering, because in for vector spaces, the product and the coproduct are essentially the same, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So I, I was wondering if there's any difference in interpretation for these two or not. Uh, no, in the interpretation, in, in the categorical model, yes, of course, they are the same. Yeah, yes. So the coproduct. Other questions? Can you comment a little bit about related works? 
other linear or semi-linear? Well, uh, yeah. In fact, the, the, the more related to this is not uh, is uh, all the algebraic uh, lambda calculus, uh, where you you add also these kind of sums and products. But uh, in in those uh, words, you add it as uh, an axioms. So you, you have the the sum, you have the product, and you say that it has to to it has to have this, this, uh, these properties, so this term reduces to this term, and this term reduces to this term. Well, here we, we have it as, uh, as a theorem. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. The last question or comment? Or maybe we go to lunch. Thanks again.